Hello, everyone. I am just like you, everyone else out there. I'm no expert in anything, but I love speakers. I love music. I love all things LPs. And I thought I would contribute to the community of folks on YouTube that I've, uh, I've learned from by making a video about my Los Scalas. I had priced the new ones, which are shockingly expensive, at $12,000, and uh, decided that that was way too expensive for me and my family. So what I did was I bought some used ones for $1,800, and, um, and I have just received in the mail today a set of tweeters, uh, a set of, uh, of uh, diaphragms for the mid-range, and then... Uh, completely new crossovers from Bob Kreitz um, down in Russellville, Arkansas. And I encourage you to go over to his um, website and check it out. I'll put a link in the bottom here. Um, ultimately, what I, I'm going to have here is uh, a completely new set of speakers for the price of approximately a quarter of a brand new set. Uh, or at least that's the plan. Here are the La Scala's that I purchased um, off of, um, well, they, they were on eBay, um, but they didn't sell, and I didn't, because I didn't have time to get down there, the gentleman agreed to hold them for me after the sale, and I went down to Little Rock, Arkansas, and I picked these up. Uh, they're 1978 models. Um, they sound really good. Um, I'll go ahead and flip these around and show you. There is the crossover. Somebody has replaced the caps in them, um, but uh, it's just kind of uh, unknown um, quality at this point. So let me go ahead and open the box and show you what Bob Kreitz is saying. All right, so here are the contents of the package that I got today. I have um, some new tweeters that um, are more um, are not as delicate as the 1978 tweeters, and um, some uh, new diaphragms for the mid-range, which um, are um, uh, there. He told Bob told me that it's less of a um, uh, of, of an improvement than the tweeters, but uh, the, they were an improvement nonetheless. These uh, these new um, mid-range horns are half per, uh, half percent distortion, uh, whereas uh, the um, 1978 mid-range are one percent distortion. Both of which are really low, but the the real uh, improvement is in this uh, crossover. This is the type A crossover, which he tells me is what um, uh, Mr. Clips, Paul Clips, preferred. It was the original crossover to the corner horn and the Las um, but what they found was that the, um, the tweeters kept blowing. And so they had to include um, some circuitry over here to protect the tweeter which puts more um, uh, components in your signal chain and, um, and, and they also raise the crossover point to um, uh, uh, at a, a level I can't remember. It was above 6,000 hertz um, in order to protect the tweeter. Because these tweeters are not as delicate, um, we're able to move the, um, uh, the frequency point for the crossover down and without danger of blowing them and um, and return to the original tweeter, uh, the, the original crossover point on the original uh, crossovers that were the favorite of Bob Clips. So there you have it. Uh, so now I'm gonna install all of the components and my hope is that for um, a quarter of the price of the new La Scala's, I'll have um, hopefully even better quality uh, uh, La Scala's than the, uh, the ones that Clips is putting out now. Folks, wow. Uh, the, the crispness of the, the highs, the, um, I don't know, the, uh, the clarity of everything. It just kind of cleaned out some mud, I think. Um, the, um, 
I, I've, I picked out an album to, to try to um, give you an example. You know you can't just play anything on YouTube. It'll get your your, your video pulled down. So uh, I chose a, an album that's less likely to result in that. It's Lincoln Mayorga. They recorded direct disc in the 70s. It's an excellent recording. Nah, the content's not to my liking. It's not my taste. But it, it, I think it'll be a good example and give you an idea of what these speakers can do.